Right, this is not today's video review, unfortunately. This is only to keep my camera in focus as I have a white background that is fighting when it comes to the autofocus of this thing. So, with that now in perfect frame, let's go ahead and uh, remove said packaging here and bring in the actual reviewing item of your viewing pleasure today. Are you ready for this? So what is this monstrosity? Well, if you haven't guessed, it's a knockoff Megatron wannabe from the Generation 1 side of Transformers. It's not a P-Wolfer, it's actually a Desert Eagle. <laughs> yeah, it's a Desert Eagle. As his name clearly says there, Desert Eagle. Because I swear to God, that's the name of this little action figure here, which I got off of Sir Toys for the asking price of $25. <laughs> That's with shipping included, might I add, so you understand. So what did I get with this whole entire thing? Did I get any contents, any weapons or accessories like that? Well, I did get a certain thing. I got the instruction manual here, which we'll go through in just a moment, but I also got this little shuttle dude here that came with it, and I believe that this is a on-carrying trend when it comes to purchasing something from their website. If you buy something good, you get one of these. If you buy something terrible, that's crappy, that may even be prone to breaking eventually, you get one of these still. Maybe even two, because I've got quite a few of these things that came with some of the Wayne Chain purchases that I made on Surf Toys. So, um, anyway, this little guy here, which we'll go through real quickly, is just a robot that transforms into a shuttle that I guess is supposed to be like a knockoff Minicon wannabe here. But uh, it does make the part, as you can see. It, it's okay. There's no paint whatsoever on this. But the plastic of this thing feels so cheap. It's almost like one of those little toys that you would get out of the treasure chest over at the dentist. So... There you go. There's that. Okay, so let me get this guy to stand up yet again, if I can, because that's one problem he's got. He always, always falls on himself, especially in his gun mode. But this gives me an opportunity to showcase the instructions, which isn't much, but it is a bit of a drag when it comes to the real transformation. It's so simple. Anybody could do this, right? Wrong. It's a little more difficult than this. A little more engineering than this. Anyway, the name of this series is apparently Deformation of the Armor from a company called BKK. I'm guessing that stands for Burger King King. You know, it's double what you get. So have it your way and then some. Desert Eagle, that's the name of it. See, nothing else. Nothing else. Except for the age of six and up. Wow, six and up. Uh-huh. So yeah, there you go. There's that. Okay, so... As I would do originally as per take of every single video review on this channel, I unfortunately have decided to go against that because this is the actual packaging. This is what the item came in. Now, does that mean that it's the official packaging that this figure came in? Said outside of the hands of Sir Toys themselves? I don't think so. I'm sure that this came in like one of those very cheap... With stolen art and uh, images from Hasbro and Takara, real Transformer figures on the packaging, done in that very cheap cardboard style. I'm sure that's what this figure came in originally, but instead I got this. Yeah, so okay. And you see where this is going. Anyway, let's talk about this thing. This wannabe Megatron that isn't Megatron at all. Um, this... It's horrible. That's all I can say. I, there, there's no good things about this. This is horrible. It's a very stumpy leg with a long torso. I mean, so elongated torso. That's got some really long arms. But they really don't work too well. And, um, I mean, 
this is all you really get in the terms of posing. You get this, you get this, you get this, you get this, and uh, you can pop his head down like a turtle if you want, but I wouldn't because I'll never get that sucker to come back out without breaking my fingernails. Anyway, with that said, we do have a little bit of articulation here, but it's just, it really doesn't warrant any mention, to tell you the truth, because it doesn't do anything. This is as far as it can split. You do get some kicking, and you do get some back kicking, but that's it. I mean, the rest is due to transformation, which, you know, and thank God the trigger is back here instead of being in the front. So, no crutch trigger. There you go, guys. Something that is a major improvement from the actual G1 Megatron figure. No crotch trigger. Trigger crotch. Whichever. Vice versa. I don't care. So anyway, let's go ahead and transform this guy because there's not much else to really say about this little diecast dude. Let's get to the best part about him. That's actually something to really say about it. So, uh, yeah, just follow the way I'm doing this because I'm just going to tell you guys right now, if you're going by the instructions... Well, you're horrible. Okay, so, with that said... Ah, not again! One little problem I got about this guy, when it comes to transforming him, the ball joints are super loose in these sockets. They do not want to stay in place. But it does tab in pretty secure, I'll give it that. So, there is some good things about this little guy. Except that he just came undone yet again. But, um, we're almost there. Gotta get this up. Bring down his legs. They're going to be the handles. Push them in. They only go one way. They tab in. That tabs in. And there you go. And, you know, to be honest, this is a very nice looking Desert Eagle gun. That's complete die cast. All this gold here that you're seeing is die cast. But it's painted gold. Clearly. It's not real gold. It's just painted. And it's not even really a good paint job. I mean, yeah, some areas it is. This is good. That's good. That's good. The middle part here. The whole body of this knockoff Megatron wannabe is a little more of an orange color so it doesn't really match up too well from far away it looks okay this does make a very nice displayable piece in this mode only on your desk maybe at your office if you're allowed to have a gun but uh outside of that it's really not my cup of tea so why did I buy this thing because I was misled I thought this would be a one in one scale replica gun in the palm of my hands in its gun mode and that is not the case wow the things you pay for but i guess you do get what you pay for because again you do get this tiny little shuttle dude yeah, get out of here so anyway there's not much else to really say about this i mean it it is what it is it's, it's just just that it's it's a little replicated die cast metal gold painted desert eagle gun that you can't really do anything with again displayable but you might have to put some sticky tack underneath these sections here because really it, it, it doesn't hold its own weight no matter what you do you, you can't display it not even like this it's either this way or this way unless you cheat if you detach it like so and uh this worked last time i don't think it's gonna work this time but uh yeah come on come on ah come on We're almost there come on turn it this way hey we did it look at it it's a lowercase h yeah there you go so if you put it in this lowercase h mode it will hold just fine there you go so problem solved all right so i'll give it a little bit of some points there credit where credit is due again it looks nice but it's just not my cup of tea i just uh i was expecting maybe a little bit more maybe I, if i had looked at the images just a little bit further i would have discovered that this would not be a real size gun when it would get here how unfortunate but hey we all make mistakes like the fact that i keep running into deers on the traffic so anyway that's gonna do it for this review if you have any questions or comments i don't care just leave them down below i'll answer them whenever i feel like it and until the next video review, which may be this, or maybe not, I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see how everything plays out, like as always. Until then, this is the Unprofessional Toy Reviewer, Redis Power Sign Off, saying thank you very much for watching this. If you did watch this, good for you. Give yourself a pat on the back, and I will applaud you.
Well, that's all you're going to get from me. So I'll see you whenever you see me.